or this uh go too far under whether it be bass What's up guys, Chris Edlin here with CO Fish Bro, and I kind of have a problem. We buy these trucks for a lot of money, and they come with short beds and no room for our fishing poles. So instead of breaking them in the back, or putting them in your cab and taking up space, I'm going to show you a way to rig a system to where you can be fishing pole debt free. In today's CO Fish Bro DIY fishing pole holder, let's get started with some tools. First up, you want to bring a drill. Then also, buy a hole saw. An inch and a quarter will work best. Then, a regular saw. Anything that can cut PVC pipe. Don't forget a screwdriver as well. You're gonna be using self-tapping screws. All right, for supplies, get a 1.5 inch PVC pipe and the two end caps that go with it. Also, some bungee cords. You can either use two 24 inches or 148 inch. Don't forget a coupler pin, a small L bracket, and some self-tapping screws or bolts. To get started, measure the inside width of your truck bed. Mark that exact width on the PVC pipe, take your saw, and cut off the excess end. Take the measurement of your PVC pipe and see how many holes you can drill about six inches apart. Mine was eight or nine. Then, take your drill and drill the holes through and through. Again, you wanna make sure you go through both sides of the PVC. At this point, your pipe should look a little something like this. One thing before we move on, this is the coupler pin hole. Don't drill it yet, but this is going to prevent the PVC pipe from spinning while the fishing poles are sitting inside. These are the end caps that you purchased with your PVC pipe. You'll notice on mine, I had to trim it in half so that it would fit under the rail of my bed. Then I took a screw, drilled it through the middle to attach it to the side of the bed. Once it's there, it should be fully connected. Don't forget, you have to do this twice, once here and for the other side. On this side, you'll notice I cut the cap a little bit higher. I want to make sure this end of the PVC pipe does not slip out the top. If you have room, go ahead and do the entire cap on this side. I just had to slide and cut it. Then once you attach to the bed rail, it should stay pretty firm. One more thing to point out, this is also the side you're going to have the cotter pin go through on. Take my screwdriver here and show you you want to drill through one side and through the other. This will prevent the PVC pipe from turning while you're driving down the road with the weight of the fishing rods. For this part, we're at the front of the bed underneath the back window. Found this little keyhole slot and I want to mount a bolt inside in order to add some support to the middle of the PVC pipe. So I take the bolt, slide it into the keyhole, and then twist down the nut to pinch the head of the bolt and the nut on the actual metal of the truck. Once you get that tight, this should provide a good support for your L bracket. So I'm going to slide on the L bracket and then I also have another washer and a nut to twist down and tighten as well. This will prevent your L bracket from falling off. Once that's down, you should have a steady support and then you can go back and adjust the nut to keep it level. Time for some assembly. Slide the PVC pipe into the cap of the higher walls or the full cap if you can fit it. Now's the time to drill the coupler pin hole. You wanna make sure that the fishing rod holes are leaned slightly forward and drill through all parts of the PVC. Then you can slide the coupler pin in and this will secure it through all transport. On the other side, the PVC should just lay in the cap. Make sure you cut the cap low enough so that the pipe will fit. In the middle, slide some zip ties through the holes of the L bracket, and then make sure you zip them down really tight. This prevents the PVC from bouncing on the bracket while you're driving on bumpy roads. Also, clip off the tag ends. Now you should have a sturdy support for your rods. And that's about it. You should be able to transport eight or nine rods using this setup. Now, all that's left is throw in some fishing poles. Now this is where the bungee cords come in. What I've done is take the bungee cord and slide them behind the line and above the reels. Then connect each end into the holes next to your rods. Now they're secure for any sort of transport. This is an example with the 24 inch bungee cords. You get two on each side and you have the ability to secure six to eight rods at one time. That's about it. If you guys like the video, please don't forget to subscribe to CO Fish Bro for more content. You can do that by clicking the C in the lower right hand corner of the video. I sincerely hope I helped you guys come up with a better solution to hold your rods in your truck. Until next time, good luck out there fishing, and I look forward to seeing you here next time on CO Fish Bro.
So you came to the channel, you liked what you saw, if you do me one more thing before you leave and just click the subscribe button right here, that'll help me out a lot. Oh yeah.